the wrong kind of police. Oh my god, that's the worst. When it feels like it's like pulling your brain out. Also, I've learned like when I start getting a headache, just to make sure that I take my hair out, even if it looks like full Lion King. Oh, I just have to put it in like a medium bun. Oh yeah, a medium bun. What is freaking out? My name is Eve. My name is Sarah. And we are burnt out perfection. Sarah checks me and goes, hey, are you there? Mind you, it's 11.45 at night. Yeah, because I like to do things I late was, at night. I was in bed. I worked the next day. I was like, I won't be a pet, but I will get up. Um, So for some reason, I downloaded it. It was an hour, hour and a half-ish. These was just cut out because I just start recording at random times so that yeah um if at any time it's not like one two three go uh millennial pause enter here <laughs> and uploaded it she was like it's 17 seconds i'm like no it's not so then i went to go open it in garage band and um it was there and then garage band um my computer said to update and garage band decided to delete all audio for that whole file yeah it was weird too because like I thought it said an hour when I first went to download it from, like, the Google Drive that you put it in. And I put it in. And it's, like, when you open up, like, a new file in GarageBand. Because I was, like, oh, I won't use my same template. Maybe that's messing it up or something. Mm -hmm. And I open it up. And you have to, like, change all the settings. So it's, like, there's time instead of beaten time and all that other stuff. And I looked. I'm, like, oh, I must have, like, shrunk the window. Like, it says that it's smaller. And then I'm, like, what the fuck? up? It's literally 17 seconds. So I, like, listened. And I was, like. Oh, yep, sure is. And it was literally just us, like, meandering, talking about random shit. And I was like, oh, well, that was it. I know. Also, I had to clear off my computer so I didn't know if, like, my storage was full. I needed to go through my stories because I, I just download all of them and then I forget to delete them after I put them on the drive. Oh, my God. That's, like, all those things because that I download from Canva to, like, use for, like social media or like print off and sometimes they download a random spot and then i like can't find it so then i put it somewhere else i know and so what i do is i usually just change my files to like type and yeah. then i can find the audio ones because it's not like i'm walking around with a bunch of audio oh yeah and then i delete them but i haven't done that because i was i'm always like oh my god what if we need it and then i'm like we have an external hard drive we have a regular drive <laughs> i yeah. think we're fine I don't know. You're like, what happens if one of those something goes wrong? You never know. And you never know. Nope. Which last episode, the one that got encrypted, we were talking about this or that, and I quite enjoyed that episode. So I was a little, a little sad. Oh, I know. I was like, oh shit, this is a fun one. We could totally do this. And then it was so funny because after we did that, I saw a bunch of podcasts doing it, and I was like, of course, we were, we were on the trend. Well, they can still be on the trend. I mean, it's not that we care for on the trend, but I just thought it was funny. I was like, oh my god, look at all these ones start coming up. I always kind of laugh, though, because Sarah will be like, oh yeah, this is trendy. And I'm like, what form of platform are you on? Because, like, my Pinterest is straight up already spooky season. My Instagram oh, my, is spooky season. Mine became spooky season. My Instagram, um, the Burnt Out Professionals Instagram is, like, all spooky things and then, like, inspirational quotes. Mm, um... My, I swear my Amazon knows that my birthday's in October, so it keeps, like, feeding me, like, all these random things that would be great to get. Oh, mine's all, like, orthopedic pillows. Oh. Mine's, like, here's these cute traveling bags that say hair, makeup, and whatever, like the Stony Clover knockoffs. Oh, yeah. And it's, like, they have those in there, and it's, like, a whole set for whatever. I'm, like, oh, these are cute. I'll put them in here for an idea, but no offense, I'll probably buy them on TV if I get them. <laughs> or I'll just put them on a list for, like, if anybody asks me what I want for my birthday. So if I don't start collecting stuff now, um, I'll make like a random list and then Eve will advise me that it is boring. And she'll well, be like, make it better. It's like silicone straw tips. And I'm like, you literally talked about this one thing. Do I think it's a great headway into what is your survive and thrive? Sorry. Um, my thrive is I have a lot going on this week, which is super nice. Um, excuse me, backtrack. Hold up. Yeah. Retourne. What? Your Thrive should be the most important thing. I bought you your birthday present early. Oh, yeah. So I'm a little special right now. Um, I got 
well, they came out on TikTok. And you know when you see things, first off, if you're Canadian, you see the Costco things and you're like, "Mm, probably not my Costco, especially when you live in like a smaller town. And then even I went to Costco and we were wandering around and we looked over and as you may have known, I injured myself and um actually they did not know uh, because i think it was in the one that got all buggered up but anyways um i injured myself in the charity baseball game that i was in running after i hit the bat fun fact it hit the ball hit the ball with the bat um fun fact if you have back issues and your back is tight um it also affects your hamstrings which then affects your calves and about halfway to first base um, I essentially paused and the umpire comes over and goes, are you okay? And I'm like, no, no, sir, I am not. And I have like big fat bruise on my leg still and all the fun things, but I have a bit of a limp right now. <laughs> so Eve's like, oh my God, are those the nightmare before Christmas squishmallow? No, I didn't even say that. I literally, we were in the stationary section. Yep. And I was looking at stationary as I do and we're both oh no you were in the office chairs yeah so Sarah's looking at office chairs and I turned to look because I was stri- I was look straight while I'm walking down the aisle and I go Sarah like get out of the chair she was on the phone like get out of the chair get out of the chair you need to look down the hallway and she's like what what do you want I'm like look down and then she realizes what it is because I didn't even say what it is so I was like I want your initial reaction she squealed like a five-year-old and galloped Oh, yeah, that's about the best definition. It was definitely galloping. It was like a gallop skip and then um, dove into the bin. Okay, well, I was looking for zero. So I got the Oogie Boogie Squishmallow. And they're the really large ones. I think they're 36 inches. I don't know. They're fucking huge. And then I was looking for the one that was zero. And I leaned into the Squishmallow bin. And I became one with the Squishmallow bin. (laughs) Um, and then I couldn't get back out because the, I had my one stabilizing leg down and the other one that I was going to use to eat myself up is the one that hurt. So then all you've heard was, is, oh my God, come help me, please. While I was looking in the other bin. Yeah. Was like, I want zero too. And I was like, well, let's grab Oogie Boogie or as I call it, Hoogie Boo Boo. Yeah. Um, and then we'll, um, then at least you have one because I think that was the last Oogie Boogie in there. Okay, so I think there's only a couple, like there's a ton of Jack and Sally's and there wasn't a lot of zeros either. Like there was no zeros in the bins that we looked in and there was one Oogie Boogie. So we grabbed that and then I was like, oh yeah, they have like the other toys. Like they do where they do that weird thing where it's like the row right before the bakery section for some reason. They put a bunch of toys down there. I was like, that's go. And it was so funny because we were walking past and it was like a bunch of Hello Kitty Squishmallows. And I looked over and I was like, yoink. And I grabbed it. She's like, what? I'm like, literally, there was a zero on top. She's like, no way. So I got that and I was so excited. And then I messaged my friend who also loves Nightmare Before Christmas. And she was like, I love a noogie boogie. And I eventually heard, because we all know, even if you're set up with the Costco Wi-Fi, you sometimes get those messages later. So I eventually ended up going back a couple days later and finding her one. The only single one that was in there. Oh, you just find it? I found one for her. It's on my couch at home. So she's very excited. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't know if her dog would become one with the Squishmallow. Like, mm-hmm. go inside of it. She's very enthusiastic. But she's like, I don't know. We'll see. But I love it so much. She has the sickest, like, Nightmare Before Christmas onesie. Well, and I was like, that's so good. And they were, like, pretty affordable for Squishmallows because I heard, like, I don't, I don't own a Squishmallow. I don't, I'm not really aware of, like, how much things are. Mm-hmm. And for the special ones, I know that sometimes they're, like, 50 60 bucks Or $80. Like, if you look online, sometimes they're so expensive. And I literally did not have any Squishmallows to my name. My kid just would end up getting them and stuff like that mm-hmm. for, like, different reasons or whatever. And prior to that, they come out with the Halloween, just, like, the animal ones. <laughs> and I was walking by and I was like, oh, my God. There's a bat and he has little teal ears and a little teal tummy. I'm like, I want that. That's so cute. So I got that for me because it was $10. Like they were still blowing them out at the same price and they were like the medium sized ones. Mm-hmm. And then 
I saw these ones and I laughed. It was like within a two week period, I went from having none to having three. But I'm not going to lie. When I got back from Costco and the other things that we ended up doing after that, I took my shoes off and put them on my bed and cuddled up in them. And hot damn, that was the comfiest thing I've ever laid down and cuddled with in my whole life. Well, the funny thing was, is so um, Sarah and I saw Wolverine and Deadpool on the Friday night. Oh, yeah. And so we got home probably, like, we got back to my house probably, like, I'd say 9.30 because we had to stop at the store. Yeah. And um, her husband and her kid were home. And I was like, well, and I had texted her the night before because this was all kind of, like, the night before planned because Sarah's husband messed up. And this sounds very dramatic for, like, he messed up. Um, Her husband asked if he was okay to go with his coworker. Um to this movie and then questioned sarah's um likely of deadpool which if you have not listened to the past um we are huge marvel fans so um me being the petty bitch that i am was like we're going um i had no i was like i'm usually the type of person just to wait till it comes out um and like dvd and i was like no we're going um probably like 10 p.m the night before scrolling through it i'm like we can find tickets we could do that. I was like, Sarah, we're having a we're having a sister night. And she was like, Okay, that was fast. And I was like, Yes, we're doing this. I'm like, Oh, okay, I don't care. I really want to see the movie. Oh, and we went to one of the theaters with the recliners, which is like the only way to watch a movie. And um got a pumpkin popcorn bucket and a cup. Mm-hmm. Like it, the popcorn bucket was metal for one. And it was cheaper to buy like I'm usually not one to get like the movie theater like fancy things. Yeah. But I was like, Oh, and he was like, yeah, it's um, it's like 25 bucks. And then with taxes and stuff, it was like 30 bucks. Yeah. And he was like, you give the metal, like a large popcorn and a metal tin and like the reusable cup with a tiny little baby, de- baby devil on it. Um, 30 bucks. I was like, um, yes, I will partake in that versus like getting the large popcorn and the large drink would have been like 35 I, I wanted to get one of those like, cause you always see everyone's coming out with those fun popcorn buckets and sometimes we get them. And then I laughed so hard because, of course, we got the one that's a fellow Canadian it's character. Oh, it yeah. was the flying deadhead. Oh, yeah. Deadpool. And and that that's voiced by Nathan Fillion, which we found out. And um, I was like, oh, I kind of want to get it. But also, like, I have a seven-year-old, so it's a little scary. Also, my husband's very jumpy. I mean, I could have fun and put it in random places and scare the shit out of him. But I got the metal one instead because they had both of them on it. And I got Wolverine to top my cup because it was fun. Oh, my God. It was so great. So we saw the movie. Won't have any spoilers because just go see it. It's great if you enjoy comedy. And if you want just like a regular superhero movie, like a traditional, funny, fast-paced superhero movie, there's not a bunch of like, there's like no lull time in that movie, I feel like, at all. You know sometimes where they have the lull of time to like build the plot? Oh, there was not any point. Put it this way. My husband went with his co-worker later on, and he went to a nine o'clock movie. Anybody who knows my husband, he does not stay up past nine. So I was baffled that he was going to a movie. Yeah. He literally did not fall asleep the whole movie. That is impressive for him. And that's super impressive, because 90% of movies, he falls asleep for about 20 minutes in the middle. Unfortunately, sometimes that's when the plot thickens, and then he needs a million explanations. But he did not fall asleep once, and he was up past midnight. Came home absolutely exhausted. I wouldn't know. I was asleep at 11. <laughs> but he was like, oh, my God, that movie is so fast paced. I didn't even realize how long it was. I was like, I don't know. I thought it was like an hour and 20 minutes. And then we came out and I was like, well, it's starting to get dark. <laughs> um, And which was great. So then Sarah was like, oh, I'll just sleep over because it just made sense. Plus, and- my husband fell asleep watching a movie with oh, my kid. I didn't know if you'd fall asleep. Oh, she had FaceTimed me and been like, hey, mom. And I was like, hey, she's like, oh, dad's sleeping while I'm watching Garfield. <laughs> Oh. And I was like, oh, okay. So I messaged him and said, oh, he messaged me at like almost 10 o'clock. And he's like, would you want me to come get you? And I was like, no, just like go back to sleep. It's fine. And he's like, oh, okay, because they don't mind. I'm like, I know you're sleeping. And he was like, that's so creepy. I can't believe you said that to me. I'm like, our kid FaceTimed me and I saw you just like sawn logs next to her. So but yeah, she stayed over. And then the next morning, so the Saturday, I was like, um, I want to do something and 
he was he was coming over and then there was a charity event that was going on that blocked off a bunch of the roads yeah so they would be over here for like over an hour and the thing like the activity that he was taking the kid to so i was not like a huge massive fan of going and i for some reason i don't even know why i was so persistent on making sure that sarah went to costco yeah but the funny thing was is i was like i feel like there is something that i have to do there and then my husband looks at me and goes oh, I think my prescription for my allergy nasal spray is in it. And like, I really need that. And I was like, okay, like I'll go. And I'm never one to opt to go to Costco on a Saturday because mm-hmm. I choose life. Well, because I asked, I had asked before and I was like, I think I'm going to walk to Costco. And Sarah's like, I don't go to Costco on Saturdays. And I was like, but like Sarah, like I think you should come to Costco with me. And she's looking at me like, why? Like this, I, I for some reason woke up and I was like, I need to see Sarah at Costco. No idea why. Found out later. Nightmare Before Christmas Squishmallows. Which, like, I still would have bought them and looked around for them if you weren't there. Oh, but I was like, oh my god. I was like, you need, I need, you need to come to Costco with me. And she was like, why? It was like, the literally, she was like, I'm like, this sounds so weird, but I was like, really adamant? Yeah. And I'm not usually adamant about people coming to the store with me. Like, I'm fine going to the store by myself. Yeah. And she was like, okay, like, and literally, like, our mom's like backing up. She pulls her husband and goes, Hey, um, like, he was going to Costco. Um, is there anything? And then he said, The nails is fine. She goes, Okay, I'll go. And we go in, literally found like $7 shirts in a two pack for her kid. Yeah. That were like licensed Marvel and Star Wars. I was like, Sweet. Um, I found the like viral, um, Tilly matching set oh yeah in um dark green and cargo pants freaking lovely wonderful want all of the colors <laughs> um and then we found the squishmallows and i looked at stan and i was like i just knew you needed to come to casco with me like it was like the most dramatic i know i was like that's so weird because i was like i don't know why i'm adamant about this but i'm adamant that you're coming to costco with me and so then i looked at her and i was like she goes oh, i really want zero and i really want oogie boogie and i was like you know what like i bought something for her for her birthday and her husband decided to buy it for the anniversary which i understand that if he communicated with me it would have been different but i was like eh, fine i'll just build flowers yeah um so i bought lego flowers for sarah and the yeah. about that and so i was like you know what like which is fine i like building lego flowers <laughs> i literally and i was like if you want both of them like Two squishmallows for like sixty four dollars, kind of a lot. But I was like, I know I was like, I'll just buy one. No, I was like, for like two, and she was like, oh, like kind of like he kind of wavering. He's like, I want one or I want two, and I was like, well, like I'll just buy one for you, and that could be your birthday. I, immediately, I was like, Dad, I'm getting both because I was like, I like even if you weren't here, I would have just bought that for you for your birthday. Mm-hmm. And um, and then she's like, oh, yeah, really? So we throw the one in. She finds the two, and like. I'm pretty sure your husband was just like, oh my god, you guys went to Costco and you found all of the things that you've ever wanted in your entire life. I know. And then we were like, we're on a roll. We got to go to Marshall's because we have been on the hunt for the Gilmore Girls blanket. Yeah. I want it. I want it so bad. I literally want to find a bunch of them because I want like, I wanted to have one. And then I was like, there'd be one here at this house because also huge fans of Gilmore Girls. Then I really wanted to get one for Auntie Jo because she loves Gilmore Girls. Yeah. And that's that's like literally the main reason why I started looking for the Gilmore Girls blanket was like if I find one at all, I really want to get it for her because mm-hmm. I know that she'll love it. And then I was like, if I find extra, then like we can have them. But I really wanted to get her one. And I know that I can go on Amazon and buy a different one or I can go on other sites and get that. But I just the one at Marshall's like their blankets are so great. And I just know. But it's also fun. Like there's this one chick that I follow and I think her name is Kennedy. And, like, she went to look for, like, a certain Squishmallow at, like, five different stores. And she goes, even if I don't find it, it's, like, it's fun. I'm getting out of the house. I'm walking around. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for something. And people are, like, well, you can just buy it here. You can just buy it here. And she goes, why? When I can just, like, go around, show, like, different things and be, like, I'm looking for this. Yeah. And it's, like, yeah. It's, like, a seek and find. I know some people would be, like, oh, my God, you're just looking for a new way to spend money. But it's fun. Like, there's only so many times they come out with stuff like that. And I mean, in general, though, other than, I mean, Canadian Amazon is quite expensive at times, unless they have really good sales. 
but they have super cute blankets all the time at like Marshalls and Winners, which are just TJ Maxx stores. Yeah. And um, they'll just have like the cutest shit all the time. And I love that place. And the blankets are usually pretty affordable. They're usually like 25 to like 50 which online 50 ones are like the made in like portugal made in italy like the fancy dancy one they're usually the bigger ones too they're not like a throw yeah they're almost like a twin size blanket i guess but yeah it was great so we went there and um sarah found i'm currently wearing run um to columbia they're like cotton rompers okay so she said it several times in past episodes she wanted rompers because i am with shorts and like a t-shirt top, not long sleeves. She wanted them with thin, breathable fabric. So that way she didn't get sweaty. So yeah, the Columbia ones that she has, they have a drawstring at the waist. They have pockets. Yep. They have two and big see, pockets. Should I see me checking them? Okay. They have pockets. They have short sleeves. It's a thin, breathable fabric. Okay. And then the best part is, is that the back, it's not like a hole cut out, but there it's overlapped. So that way there's like a ventilation air conditioning hole. And literally there was two in the size that i knew she would want and they were on sale for 20 bucks a piece and i was like she's like i'm in the i'm in the car and i was like can you come here please because i found two things she's like oh those are so cute like which one do you want and i was like i literally grabbed both of them for you because one of them is this like bright teal color and i was like i literally grabbed them both for you and i i'm like there's like an orangey one i think that i the one that i saw at winners was like a lot more like the sweatpant arctic fleece but had like the same vibe yeah. these ones i was like these are perfect like i'm literally not putting these the fuck down and they're i've worn them probably every day since i got them yeah i just alternate between the two and they're great because they have like a little like button at the top and like it's not as revealing as you know when you put on a romper and you're just casually naked on the toilet uh, oh yeah <laughs> so they're great they're very comfortable and like they're not tight at all they're, like, long enough in the sleeves that, like, it doesn't go in my arm. Oh, my whole thing is I measured the crotch length. Because there's nothing worse than getting a romper when you're a tall girl. And it's just straight up your ass to your veg. Oh, my God. Every time. Um, But they're very comfortable. I'm very excited about them. And I am scared to go on Columbia and see how much they <laughs> Oh, they're probably really expensive. My survive is um, my brain feels like I'm going to get a migraine. But also I got, like, a very intense massage yesterday um and they hit a lot of points more than they've been able to like get through and that's probably why my brain's just my body's just like oh my god what'd you do and then um i have a bit of a limp but it's almost like a good and a bad thing because like i could actually walk like a human and go up the stairs without every three stairs being like "Ah." (laughs) i almost died i almost fell down the 15 set slide of stairs that are very steep going down to eve's basement last week and i was like and this is where i end (laughs) um my survive was i biffed it because so obviously i don't know it would have been last episode um the sarah got injured on the saturday she asked me to come in on the sunday and help out for the baseball tournament and i um was playing back catcher and i went to go step around the umpire and um very lovely man (laughs) Um, but I go step around him and my knee gave out and I kind of like knee slid a little bit on this is what I'm assuming because I didn't realize that I was bleeding yeah so um I like I guess I skinned my knee and I was like oh it kind of stings and there's dirt on it but I like didn't even I just don't look down if it stings I just avoid it yeah um and after like it was like two innings later one of the um other guys on the team turns to look and goes you didn't know that you have blood running down your leg right and i'm like no i don't so i looked down and i was like oh mind you i was wearing sarah's brand new socks and her cleats <laughs> which are white <laughs> which are both white what i don't I, care i think they'll get up and so i was like oh, oh okay hydrogen peroxide that's just coming out in five seconds i was like oh i'll just um her husband was like his back still messed up so he was sitting out and i'm like oh, i'll just run over and like he brings this like huge yeti water bottle i was like oh, i'll just pour it on my leg because like without- also i'd like to mention it was 45 degrees outside so a lot of people were running very slow including my husband who watched eve pour said water on her leg as he was attempting to get out of his mouth i put lime in that this morning yeah like full-on fresh lime like- juice 
like the fruit, like just straight citric acid on an open wound. And I was like, oh, that's great. And so naturally, like started bleeding more. Yeah. And I was like, well, I gotta go back out there. Like, I'm not supposed to. I was like, oh, I would sit out the, like, you have to have a specific amount of um, men and women on there. So I was like, oh, like, I sat out the first one, like, I'm, like, supposed to go back out. And th- during the last inning, I went to go walk out and, like, one of the, like, basically, like, the captain looks at me and goes, no. And I was like, oh, it's fine. Like, Sarah brought me band-aids, but I didn't have any, like, saline or anything to, to like, actually clean it out. So they had a tent, so I, like, walked over and I was like, hi. It was the St. John's Ambulance tent. Oh, my God. We didn't have people. that last year, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it was so funny. since the deaths. And they like, started asking me questions, and I was like, I work in healthcare. And they were like, sweet, wonderful. Um, So they cleaned it out and stuff, and I was like, oh, okay. And the funny thing was, is Sarah and I kind of looked at each other, and I was like, man, like, I guess like, I still had blood running down my face because, like, I guess it wasn't cleaned well. Apparently, I had scratches all the way down my shin. Yeah. And um, I had, like, a solid, like, four millimeter like shred on my right by my like front of my knee yeah and so every time i bent it or straightened it it hurt and i was like it would crack and then it would bleed again and i was like ah so that was letting my feel so that was my survive it's almost gone now which is great um and then my thrive is these rompers i want them in every single color they're so cute i'm like i feel like going on the hunt or even like that tilly so the tilly said that um I'm talking about has like it's like a four screen they are like f- not flared but like they're like straight leg uh sweatpants yeah they're cargo so they got puck on the side and then the sweater with it is like a quarter zip and it has pockets on the side which i'm a huge quarter zip fan um and it was like less than 50 dollars for a full set which is like unheard of and I'm very much a private person that just loves, like, a matching set. Makes my life easy. Oh, my God. You just seen all the matching sets she was looking at when we were at Winners. Oh, my God. That thing. Yes. I have been waiting for someone to make outfits that come together for adults. Because, you know, like, for kids, like, you can buy, like, a shirt and pair of shorts and it's a whole outfit. And Winners has that for a lot of things. Like, they have those, like, crochet sets or those little, like, um, everyone's wearing those things that look like pajamas or like a button-up shirt that's been cut up they yeah. have those literally together and then they have sweatsuits together i'm like it's happening no so probably a year and a half ago i was livid because i was in costco and i pulled up and they had this adorable puma pastel blue set that was a crew neck and shorts and it was for children and i turned to say and i went why can that not be for adults Right. Because I don't mind if, like, I have to buy things separately, but, like, they match in color. Nothing will irk me more than when they're, like, the same brand and they're like, oh, you can mix and match and it's not the same color. Oh, that's the whole thing. Um, the It's always Costco because, like, that's where I go. But the our Costco had those, like, really awesome lazy pants pullover hoodies oh yeah and i was so excited and i was like oh my god i saw on tiktok that they have the shorts well they came out with the hoodies and the hoodies were all in the same colors that they shot and then the shorts that they came out with were completely different colors and patterns yeah and i was like oh i there's got to be one that'll look okay like i think they had a purple one or whatever anyways i was like trying to match stuff up but they had them at such separate times that by the time the shorts came in and they're like sweat shorts and they're long enough. That's the whole thing. By the time they had the sweatshorts in, the freaking hoodies were all down to like extra smalls that were left. And I was like, damn it. Well, also what gets me is <clears throat> when people come out with like those types of things, I I understand I could just buy black and everything black matches. Yeah. But like sometimes you want like a forest green or I want like a baby blue or like certain things and like if you have the wrong shade of purple, it's, like, too pink or it's too blue. And it's yeah. match. I just like it when I'm, like, it's the same brand. I can slap it on and it's not black. Yep. And, like, I am one. Like, I only own, like, black pants. And, like, a couple pairs of jeans. But I only really own black pants. And every time I'm, like, oh, I just want a matching. If you have a matching, you're, like, oh, I look really put together. Didn't try. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like they're slowly doing the things that I've always completed. 
that complain, giving feedback on because now we're kind of getting some outfits and stuff that match. The other thing that we're getting is I was at Old Navy riding through the clearance section because I love that. And they had those trouser pants that were going viral on like, I guess, I, I mean, they were going viral on me. I mean, I'm, I think I'm on mom talk, but on TikTok and they're this really nice, like light, soft cotton fabric. I was like, bullshit, they're soft. I tried them on. Oh my fucking God. Because I, I don't like a linen pant. I find it scratchy. And they're really cute because they have the button and the zipper. But on the sides, they have the part that takes in the waist like on kids' pants. And I've been waiting for those in adult clothing. Yeah. Because I'll, I have a booty and I have thighs. But um, 90% of the time, my waist does not match that. Or they'll taper too much at the top. Or they'll be too wide at the top. Or I just want like a baggier fitting pant. But I want to like, I, I mean, I could sew but being able to like adjust it here and there you know when you get your period or when you eat thanksgiving dinner and i was like oh these are so cute because i saw what's her name Sinead grimes she's like a canadian actress and she was on like nano to and and degrassi at one point no she didn't Sinead grimes is very much alive she is on my tiktok she does this like god she dresses oh, like very like the one that has like the blonde and black hair yeah oh okay i thought i was gonna step with the one that was from 90210 and that was oh yeah she's oh no that's shannon doherty oh. she's very like um she calls herself like the goth mom but she wears like different stuff and i like her style the way she has there's a lot of things that she has that i like and she'll list them but a lot of times it's american amazon because right now she lives in tennessee i'm like I was looking at all the also we're very different in height I think she's like 5'3 at the most and I'm 5'10 and I'm like oh these things are so cute I'm like oh what a cute little ins little inspo type thing and I looked at it and I was like I can't find it and then I found a couple things at Old Navy and I was like oh this is sick and then I don't know who the girl is in our area who wears a, a size 14 and gets everything in tall and then returns it and it goes to the clearance section I thank you Oh, well, every time it's the greatest surprise ever. It's always the greatest surprise. This time I did not find pans under $3 like I have done several times. But these were like $10. And I think online they were, they, they said the regular price was like 60 65 bucks Because they're really nice. Well, I'm, the old Navy clears around this time is always great. Because this is when I got like my, um, if you know, if you've ever heard of Smash and Test. Um, and they sell a lot of rompers, and they have like this sweater rompers. Also, a Canadian company. Are they Canadian? They are Canadian. They're, Canadian. they're out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh, which their they, their stuff is lovely. Um, but like sometimes I like to try something. I think I've said it before. I try something. I like a lower price range just to make sure I really like it. And then if it breaks, I'm not mad. It's not even just a lower price range. Sometimes when it comes to their stuff, they'll have a certain inseam for a certain size, and sometimes that just doesn't work for us. Oh, yeah. Like I've had to buy a lot of um. I'll buy on clearance a lot of their stuff and it's like the guy's stuff in the large or the extra large because it's like three inches longer and that just works for me. Unfortunately, it does have a pee hole area, but that's fine. <laughs> but, and like, obviously, sometimes there's ones that I'm like, oh, whatever. I just, they just won't work for me. Yeah. So I went in la I think went two or three years ago when they had their big blowout for fall. And then they had these, they were like a, it's like a sweater and sweatpants onesie that you like zip up. And I got it in black and I was like, this is the best thing ever. I wore it all through the, so all through the winter and I was like, this is great. It just slapped on like a tank top or whatever. And so then I found another one in there and it was like eight bucks. I'm like a whole outfit for $8. What a bargain. Right. Best thing ever. Happiest thing ever. <laughs> uh, I got a massive skitty stain and um, accidentally tie dyed it. So <laughs> That was the best is when you were dying. You were like, I'm going to die it. And you're like, well, it came out tie-dye. Well, I went to a dye at Navy and it was like a heathered gray. <laughs> and I went to a dye at Navy and like, I let that thing soak and it went green and blue. Like steel blue and oh, green. Yeah. Like it looks cool, but I was like, this is not what I was going for. No. And then, you know, that was when all of the people came on and I'm like, how to actually dye your clothes to act real they have the specific color oh yeah you got to add the soap you got to add the salt and you got to keep moving it yeah was back in the day you just slapped it in and was like hope to god it worked oh yeah um or the people put it in their washing machine have you seen that it says on the side of the right things that you can put it in your washing machine oh i don't they have ones that you can like throw in and do that 
Like it's like a whole little. Yeah, but even though the bottle, it says oh. put it in your washing machine. So I put, I'll put the um, like when I'm running the stuff that I do, I'll put the um. It's like there. It's basically like the color safe thing that you put you can put on after you wash it, so that way, it's good. But that's clear. I've put that in there. I don't want to put dye in there because I'm the person who's going to do that. And then it'll be four washes later. I'll do a wash of white and then they'll all turn the color that I did. I don't know. If- and the only thing that's really white in my house is part of my kid's uniform, which I'm tr- just going to do the color moving forward because the white is stupid. No, but I... Oh, I don't like that. So I thought, well, because the last episode was deleted, we can just do this or that again. Oh, sweet. Um. So first one. Staying in or going out? It depends on my mood and how much I've already done that day. Because sometimes it'll be like, I'll be like here doing my job and then I'll go to go home. And then my friend will come out and be like, we're going for appetizers. And I'll be like, okay. And like, get ready and then go out. And then there's other days where you cannot pull me from my house. I'm mainly staying in just because I don't, if there's not a lot of things that I'm like, mm-hmm. But I could be at home. Like, I'm very much a homebody. I'm very much like, I'm so sorry. I was like, sometimes, calling. sometimes it's like price justification. Well, like, I I don't mind. Like, yesterday we went out to the dollar store. I love going to the dollar store. Um, I don't mind going to, like, the craft store. I don't mind going grocery shopping. But, like, I don't like the restaurant setting. I don't like people watching me eat. I don't like a majority of restaurants because everything is overpriced. I like going to restaurants like Old Spaghetti Factory, where I know exactly how much I'm spending because everything's included in the price. And I don't know. I'm just not a huge fan of going out. Like, the movies was fun, but, like, also, I'm just not a huge, like, going to the movies person. Yeah. Like, I used to be more, but, like, I have to, like, watch the preview and be like, that sounds really cool. I'm going to go to that. Versus like, oh, I'm going to, we're going to go to the movies for fun. There is, I know sometimes I go because air conditioning is needed. If it's really hot outside. Other than that, I basically end up going to, I go to a lot of kid movies, obviously, because I have a kid, but also I enjoy those more. And I feel like sometimes they're a lot more fun than seeing adult movies. Sometimes I'd rather just watch them at home. Like my husband is not a scary movie fan and he'll go, we went to see, it was like one of the last the last Halloween movie that came out and he watched it and it was all good but the amount that that poor man screamed and looked absolutely fucking terrified I felt horrible but also I laughed so you know (laughs) um so this these ones are more like sleeping habits okay tv on or tv off uh I can as long as my battery is is low I can fall asleep anywhere it doesn't have to be on is it usually on a lot of the time? Yes, because my husband always, like, he'll listen to, like, a podcast or have, like, a video or something. Well, let's like, be honest. Your husband's watching Family Feud. Um, it's not Family Feud right now. What? Oh, my God. Thank God. Because that dinging noise was, like, literally in my dreams. But, um, yeah, sometimes I'll just fall asleep, like, watching a YouTube video. Like, I'll just pass out on the couch. And sleeping Sarah does not listen to anybody once she is asleep. Do not try to wake her. Yeah. Uh, soft bed or hard bed? soft i will sleep in a marshmallow i like soft beds to an extent unless um i get stuck in the middle of them and i cannot get out oh that is very true so i'm like a solid like medium ish but i'm very specific about my pillows oh my god the pillow setup that i have to have especially during allergy season is like so high maintenance it's like two of those like memory foam pillows like the ones with like the shredded chunks in them and they're the king size ones there's one down, one up, so it almost makes, like, a triangle. And then I have one where I, like, put my head. Bear in mind that all the pillows that I have are, like, reject pillows because my husband has a CPAP machine. And we're constantly trying to find, like, the perfect pillow for him because he, like, obviously, like, his back and neck hurts and stuff. And he tries to find the best way to, like, sleep. And he's, like, the princess in the freaking pee, though. Like, he'll be like, oh, I don't like this. And I'll just keep buying random pillows off of, like, Amazon. Just what's funny is that, like, he literally will fall asleep in the living room in, like, a recliner and not complain at all. And then, like, he goes to bed and he's like, I must have my specific Oh, pillow. my God. Like, just the the amount of feedback in which I receive sometimes. I'm like, Jesus, I'm exhausted. Just stop. 
Um, so obviously you're a several person pillow person. Yes. I'm like a solid like two. I have four on my bed because I have a queen size bed. So I have two on each side, but I usually sleep on just two. Um, pitch black or nightlight? Um, usually pitch black is the fastest way that I'll fall asleep. I usually have like, I have a light up clock. In the yeah. So it's usually a little bit of light. I have a low, because I'm on the side that's away from the door. So, like, if I have to wake up and pee in the middle of the night, I have, like, a very, like, low-level night light. So that way, when I walk by, it's motion activated. Mm-hmm. So my husband likes to put his clothes, particularly belts, belted pants still at the end of the bed. And I'll be like, keep. <laughs> I do snore. I don't snore. Oh, I 100% snore. But I live in complete denial that I do. I don't, I wouldn't say you snore. I say you, like, heavily breathe. Or I wheeze. It depends on, like, my nose and, like... Usually, it's just, like... And, like, I love you, but when you, like, if we share a bed and you roll over and you breathe in my face, I'm literally, like, dead asleep, and then I'm like, hey, hello? Um, light sleeper, heavy sleeper. I hear everything that's going on while I'm sleeping, even if I'm completely asleep. Like, I can hear everything that's going on. You are not a light sleep. You are not a light sleeper, though. No, I'm not. Sometimes like- I will literally have to, like, shake her and be like, Sarah, you need to get up. And she'll be like, no. And I'm like, I know you're asleep, so you need to get No. But it'll be funny because it'll either that person will enter my dream or it's like, I think it's like once I get out of REM sleep. I really start hearing all this stuff, but, like, I'm the one who will wake up if there's a loud noise or something going off. Um, The rest of my family will not. They will not wake up. Like, I'm the one who wakes up to the alarm. I have to wake everybody else up. I don't know what I'm going to do when my kid gets older because she already ignores alarms to begin with because I've tried to, like, get her used to having an alarm. And she sleeps right through them. And I've tried songs, different noises, everything. So if you have any suggestions, please comment below. I have a sunrise alarm clock, which like one day I'm going to commit and just get the hatch wood because the one that I have is like shiny and it kind of like blinds you in the morning. Oh, yeah. Um, There's a lot of, I watched like one, uh, one, there's yeah, the but also there's like the Philips Sonicare one or whatever. Just Philips Sonicare is definitely their toothbrush brand. You're fine. Most of this no, stuff goes away. No. Oh. I was making sure this was going back on because it was the like do do. Oh. Um, of like when it goes to sleep. <clears throat> um, self care edition. Reading a book or listening to a podcast. Um, I usually default to podcast. Only recently have I actually like sat down and read a book, but I just go, You're just gonna read one chapter. And then if I'm not zoning out or completely forgetting what I just read, then I'm like, you can read another chapter or I'll do audiobooks. And then, like, yesterday, I had walked outside, sat in a chair, and started reading. And I didn't want to be like, oh, my God, are you reading a book? I think it's the way that the person writes the book, too. Like, there's some authors who are, like, almost condescending. Yeah. When you read their books, a.k.a. the Twilight series. Um, And then there's other people who make it, like, I don't know, the way that this author writes right now for the book that I'm reading, it, it sounds like a combination of, like, Eve and I, but some of the things... That are in there, like, it's very, I don't know, it's, like, fun. It's, like, a conversation versus, um, this is how blah, blah, blah type of thing. So, the book she's currently reading is You're a Badass. Yeah, but You're a Badass. By Jen, oh, I'm going to screw up her last name. Cinerino. I've never read the book, but it's funny because I... As you've listened to our previous podcast, I have a saying that whenever I hear my sister um, or my mom say, I didn't have time or I don't have time for this and stuff like that, I get mad because I'm like, you do have time. There's 24 hours in the day. Don't change. Um, and so that you use that time to fulfill other opportunities. So I've just been, I don't have time. And she literally, the, like, one of the quotes in the book is like something very similar to yeah. that. And I was like, oh, I've never read this book, but I'm really glad that somebody else feels the same way. But the best part about the book is when you're reading it is there's like, I obviously, it's in the self-help category, but it's like, okay, so you're going to leave blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I know. Yada, yada. Ridiculous. Hocus pocus. Blah, blah, blah. Like, 
she says the stuff and then she almost like makes fun of it and is like but like listen like if you do it this way and just stop thinking it's so hokey and it's like that's hilarious instead of it just like in full enlightenment to blah 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 like she's just like oh. i feel like it's a very like realistic read versus like a a lecture yeah or anything that's just a little bit too like i don't know airy for my liking um i saw this tiktok and it was it said did you know that confidence is not a feeling yes and um it's like it's confidence is not a feeling it's just like really like fake it till you make it like nobody feels confident yeah that's not actually an emotion like you'll never see that as an emotion in inside out which i thought was funny because i heard that about like i saw that and i was like oh i so it i don't listen to podcasts i watch podcasts like i watch the youtube videos yeah and like i can do stuff then i enjoy reading a book but i also find that like i have to be in a very specific mood and i'm very prone to getting into a reading slump where it's like i want to start reading it and it's like when those people say like oh just watch the first season of this show and then it gets good i'm sorry i am not committing no four and a half hours to this no um <laughs> go to bed early or sleeping in oh i hate sleeping in i get like i'm like messed up yeah so I used to be like that, and then there's this pivotal time where you turn 25, and then your body is like, nope, we don't like this anymore. So, like, even when I was younger, if I stayed over at anybody's house, especially places I'd never stayed, the latest I would wake up was, like, 8 a.m., and I meanwhile, these are, like, sleepovers where we'd be up <laughs> here, sleepovers where we'd be up until, like, 1 or 2 a.m. or later or whatever. It was always 8 a.m., and then I was always the first kid up at a sleepover, and even like now like i would much rather even if i go to bed that late wake up at six thirty, seven o'clock go get my groceries done and get all that shit done before like the world gets busy and then have more of like a chill afternoon or whatever i i find that my husband is very sweet and tries to let me like sleep in on the weekend or he'll be like oh we're up early like try let's go do this or whatever and then i'm like he'll be like let mom sleep sometimes i'll hear him say that while i'm sleeping because obviously i've gone out of REM sleep or whatever and i'm like no and i get up and other times like he's like just let me sleep whether i've had like a migraine the night before or something and i wake up and i've never had a hangover in my life and trust me i've drank enough to have a hangover and that's literally what i have and i'm like in a fog all day i'm like the most unmotivated person ever and i just like can't get anything fucking done like i'm much more productive if i wake up earlier and around the same time that i do during the week it was so funny so when we went to the um when we went to the wedding we stayed with sarah's best friends at sarah's best friend's house and her partner gets up at like 5 a.m and goes to work and i wake up because i'm in a foreign land i have never entered this household yeah i don't know their routines and so the night before i had asked her i was like hey like what time do you guys usually get up because i don't want to be that person that like it's their day off or like it's summer vacation i don't want to wake them up i don't know what's going on <clears throat> and so she's like oh we're catching up on sleep and she's like yeah usually between like 10 and 11 and in my brain i'm going 10 to 11 that is but my, my day is gone yeah so <clears throat> i woke up at 5 a.m when her partner left because if i hear walkie in the house i immediately wake up yeah and i couldn't fall back asleep so i was like working on business stuff like going around <clears throat> um and so i was like you know when you're in someone's house that you've never been to and you have no idea where anything is yes. so then you're like oh i'm gonna find something and then it looks like you're rummaging through their covers just because you're trying to find something so i was like oh, well i'm gonna well let's just make breakfast for everybody because like i'm awake i can figure it out i can find stuff here yeah. And so I'm like going through and I I found um I found pancake mix and um I I couldn't find syrup, which if you haven't heard of a prior, Sarah's child would not consume pancakes unless she has a hundred percent maple Canadian maple syrup. True Canadian right there. She's a true Canadian. <laughs> none of that knockoff stuff that's changed its name twice now, none of that. Oh no. Only a hundred percent pure maple syrup. Which like she she has had the knockoff stuff, like if but she definitely prefers it and i was like you know 
where like she slept in their house before but i was like i'll just be quick and i was like there is none so sarah's husband gets up because he's he's always in like he'll wake up whether he's sore or whatever he's a pretty early riser in general well he got up probably around 7 30 so i'd already been up for two hours yeah i was like sitting there on the on the no i was on the balcony i was reading a book i was having a fun time i'm messing up the chairs and so um he had gotten up he had a shower and stuff and he comes down and i'm like hey i'm, I'm just gonna go run over to like the local grocery store and um grab some maple syrup because we know that the kid won't want it and he goes oh, okay so i'm like i ran upstairs to like get shoes on and stuff grab my bag and i come downstairs and i'm like Where'd he go? I look outside. He's in the car in the driveway going, are you coming? And I was like, oh, I was just going to walk. So it was like a five minute walk. Yeah. Um, But like I got up, I we made breakfast and stuff. It was like 940, almost 10 o'clock. Sarah comes busting down the oh, stairs. Oh my God. And she's like, her husband and I are just making breakfast. Like you guys were dancing to music and mm. making and just like, hee hee hee, like tugging away. And I was like, this is so cute. I think I took a picture. Oh my god, he, we're like drunk. <laughs> she like comes in and she's like, I had literally started making, they had a Keurig, so I like started making coffee. And you know how every coffee sh- sh- machine's a little bit different. Yeah. So I made, um, she had non-dairy creamy, so I was like, oh, make Sarah coffee can. Literally, she comes down the stairs, I turn around and I hand her the coffee. Like, I didn't even know she was awake. Oh, yeah. And she's like, I was, uh, I was, and I'm like, hi, drink coffee. Oh, my God. I was so out of bed. And so she had slept through us going to the store and coming back. And I was just like, rare. And I was like, just go upstairs. And so I made coffee and then I handed her a second cup and I was like, hey, go wake up your friend. I think it would be kind of weird if I just walked into her house, even though like this was like the first Locked time I'd enter a room. Yeah. Yeah. Plus they have like two small dogs. Which they both left me. But like I was like, I don't think it'd be weird. So I sent her up. Then she comes downstairs and she goes, It smells amazing in here. What's going on? Now and we I turn around and we're like, Oh, we made breakfast. Sarah? We slept yeah. <laughs> for like a solid hour. And every time she sleeps over at our house, I get up, I get I go to the bathroom, I go upstairs, and like she comes up at like eight thirty, she's like, What time is it? Like, it's so funny because, like, the time that I dyed your hair, um, her husband's not gifted in the hair department, which, like, is understandable. And, like, they're they're just not made for braiding. That's okay. He he tries his best, though. Like, he's watched so many braiding tutorials. And this was, like, one of the last, like, couple weeks that our kid was in school. Actually, I think it was, like, about a month or two before anyways. But it was, like, a weekday. And I stayed over because, like, we were, like, full on bleaching my hair. Like, I was turning it purple. Yeah, so she was bleaching it, turning it purple, and there was, like, two rounds of bleach because we use a low-level low like, volume thing. And it was, like, a whole process, so I was like, I'll just stay over. So, um, I get a message because I woke up first. I go upstairs. I get a message from her husband saying, hey, um, Sarah's not answering her phone. I, I, I tried my best to, um, do her hair. To do her hair. We're going to drive in. Do you mind, like, waking up Sarah or, like, something like that? Like, they're going to get someone doing her hair. And I was like, yeah, totally. So I go upstairs, let the kid in, do her hair, leave. Silence from Sarah. Nothing. I even, like, woke her. I literally sat, walked downstairs and said, hey, your kid's going to be coming um, to do hair. And she went, no, nothing. Nothing was nothing was said. She just snored and rolled over. Yeah. And so I went upstairs, did her hair. 45 minutes later, she comes busting up the stairs and goes, oh, my God. My husband's supposed to bring the kid. Did you wear her? And I'm like, they left an hour ago. Like, you're fine. And she was like, what time is it? What am I? And I'm like, because your clock is wrong in your room. Oh, my God. I have a 20. I have mine in 24 hour, but it, like, the it was- went out and it swapped. And it was so funny. So, like, she does. It's not like she doesn't sleep in. But it's just like, she's just like out of it. It's like, I'm, uh, yeah, it's literally like I'm drunk. And some people are like, oh, maybe you're well rested. And I was like, if that's well rested, like, I don't want to be. Oh, my God. It's so funny. But um, I'm definitely more of like, I don't like go to sleep early, but I like to like lay in my bed, open a show, watch a couple ticky talkies. Yeah. Ugh, and like start to like fall asleep, which I know people are like. Oh, that's probably well. You're not sleeping well. 
I have had sleeping issues since I was a child. This is the only way that I can probably get myself to sleep. Me too. And then I also have to have the exact same thought every night, and then I'm fine. So leave me be. I'm happy. Um, if and- I can sleep, leave your fucking opinions to yourself. <laughs> and I can, like, I like to hurt her- Urkel Durkel in the morning. It's just lay in bed. Oh, my God. That's my favorite thing in the whole world that I've ever learned on TikTok. It's a Scottish saying. So Urkel Durkel is a Scottish saying for just, like, basically wanting, being so comfy in bed and not wanting to get up. And it's not like... I don't want to get up because I'm, like, sad or depressed or anything. It's, like, you know when you wake up in the morning and, like, the, the comforter just feels right. And, like, the sun is just slightly glowing and you're just, like, oh. See, it's, like, I need to get up at, like, 6.45. It's, like, 6.20. And I'm, like, I got 20 minutes to just lay in bed. Yeah. Um, That it just be her, her key jerk all the time. Yeah. Um, I also love that. On, like, a Saturday, though. But that's like me waking up at like six, knowing that I'm going to go grocery shopping at seven, but I'm just hanging out. And then my kid comes in and we watch a show or whatever. Oh, yeah. Like anytime. I just don't understand. There was a very slim time period where I slept in. <clears throat> and it was when I wasn't even sleeping in. It was literally like I didn't sleep. And then I would fall asleep at like noon and then yeah. sleep until 4 p.m. Yeah. And then be awake. Um, There's another one. Would you rather... Read minds or see the future. Oh, read minds. Because that way, that little voice that's in my head that says, I don't think they really like you, would actually know what that person was thinking. And then it could just be countered right away. I don't want to see the future. That's that's not a need for me. I feel like if I could read minds, that it would help. I don't need to see the future. Like, I feel like, like reading, I'm stressed. Yeah, especially like reading the situation, like in general, when you're like an empathic person or whatever. It's like, am I sensitive? Did I drink enough water? Have I eaten food? Do I just not like this situation because of this? Also, it would be really great to read minds, especially if that included animals. Because sometimes I'm like, what do you need, Molly? What do you need from me? And I'm like running through all the things like a toddler who doesn't speak. Do you want to treat? Do you want to go outside and play ball? Like, just simple things like, like that. The less quadrant. My bum. Or it's even like for my tiny human. So I could be like, what do you need? And all of a sudden you start explaining things and then they just like bust out with something completely different. And you're like, like eventually it comes out. But no, but there's, sometimes it's just like, like I say for her kid, it's like this level of wine that I just don't know what's going on anymore. And I can't hear it because yeah. I'm half deaf. So I'll be like, honey, like, do you need food? And it's like, <laughs> and like, Sarah's like, she needs this. I'm like, how did you get that out of that? I mean, like, that, it's I'm, literally like, I look at her and it's yeah. silence. I'll have like the mom idea of that. But it would just be great if it was just like literally like she just looks at me and it's like, I need blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, cool. Sweet. That works for me. Uh, would you rather have super hearing or have x-ray vision? Um, I like x-ray vision would come in really handy to be like, oh, did I just break that? Nope. Um, super hearing as long as I could control it. This last thing I want to do is be like upstairs making food and hearing like my husband having a dump downstairs in the toilet. Like that's just not what I really want. <laughs> I would probably want to have X-ray vision and then you don't want to have super hearing so you get hearing in both ears again. No, I'm good. Oh, okay. Um, would you rather be able to fly or run at super speed? Oh, I want to fly. I'm not afraid of heights. I feel like I'd be fine to fly, though, because I feel like the whole, like, concept of, like, me being in front of heights is because, like, I know it's going to hurt if I fall. Yeah. So, like, if I fly, then I could just, like, fly over the ocean and, like, I know that I can fly. I'm just, like, the places I could go. <laughs> oh. Super speed, I feel like I would probably get motion sickness. I just don't want to go anywhere speedy. I want to take my time in life. Would you rather be able to teleport or be able to time travel? Oh, teleport, hands down. I don't want to time travel. I don't want to time travel. I don't want to go back to, like, when there was the plague. I don't want to find any of that other stuff. Like, I have everything with the plague. Yeah. Again, I would just love to go anywhere where it's just easy. In- instead of sitting in a car or doing whatever, because I don't drive. So, I would love anything that involves me not driving. <laughs> well, isn't just being, like, teleport to, like, England? I want to go, if I, the immediate time that i could teleport i would go directly to ireland yes because i just want to go there but i don't really want to sit on a plane for that long 
So, like, I would love to go there and then do the whole thing and then, like, come back. I know. And then, like, if I got, if I, like, forgot something, you just tell her back, tell her before. Especially if you're, like, hey, I'm just going to go home and get ready so that way I don't have to have a bunch of suitcases with me and then <laughs> pop back. Or, like, hey, you want to go to Disneyland for the day? Done. Yeah. I would go at the beginning of, like, each new season at Disneyland. Christmas and Halloween season and then, like, the new year. You always sleep in your own bed. That's what I like. That's my whole thing, too, is, like, I would thrive if I could just come home and sleep in my bed every night. I also love how people would probably be like, oh, well, I'd rob a bank or I'd do this. I wouldn't. I would just be like... I would literally just travel and, like, go see people. Like, I would rather, like, go to Greece for the day oh, and then, Tokyo. like, tell them I want to go to Tokyo, Japan so bad. And then, like... But literally you so can go bad. back like you can spend the day there and then you get yeah. back well that's the whole thing and like i'd love to be like man i want some really good food i'm gonna go to south korea and go to that food market yeah one of the open air like food markets or, like those random festivals that people are like oh um they're having like this specific food festival or concerts too hell yeah concerts. western canada never gets any fun concerts and then it's like if we do they're like a bajillion dollars so i'd rather like buy a ticket where someone's playing and like i'm gonna use her an example again i'm not the biggest fan of her music but i like her her marketing and her business style and everything but say my kid was super into taylor swift i could buy tickets in like i don't know in in, in istanbul istanbul hmm. my brain just paused istanbul. istanbul because they may be a lesser cost or those chicks who go and get their hair done in Turkey. Yeah. And the medical stuff that they do. Exactly. Like, literally, I'm pro. Everyone's like, oh, my God, that's literally what you would do. Yeah, I would just do all that stuff. Like, I would go to Korea once a week and get Korean skincare treatments done because I'm not allergic to, like, a majority of the stuff that they use. Like, honestly, those little things would just make it. And, like, I found that a lot of people would be like, oh, would you, like, would you want to, like, you're not getting the whole experience and stuff. Or, like, but I'd rather just be able to, like, go there. Because my big issue is I hate sleeping in other beds. Yeah. Is I can go there. If I'm, like, oh. you know when you're, like, sitting there and you're, like, man, I really wish I could have gone to this. Yeah. And then you're, like, oh, wait. Hold up. And, like, also, we have higher morals, so it's not like we would, like, teleport into the concert. We would still buy the ticket. Oh, I would buy the ticket to go. But, like... That's the whole thing. And then I would probably be like, I am a teleporter, influencer, blogger, and then take pictures and show all the stuff that I did. But so that would be like, you didn't have the government, probably. Why? Because I, th I thought this was like a known fact that I was a teleporter. Oh, okay. If not, I would just pretend that I was flying then and then just be like, this is where I went today. And just like make sure I wasn't posting Ireland in South Korea in the same vlog. In the same day. I yeah. found out. Yeah. In the same outfit. Yes. Um, young at heart or old soul? Um, I've always been told that I'm an old soul my whole life because, and it was funny because I did one of those picture things that came up on like Facebook, you know, the AI things where you put your face in and it shows you through the ages. And if you look at 1920 to 1960, it just makes sense. Like yeah. the different styles and stuff like that. And also, I find that even just, like, a classic style thing, like, something that, I mean, I'm not the same size as her, but, like, the same kind of structure that, like, Marilyn Monroe or, like, Audrey Hepburn would wear, those kind of structured dresses. Generally, maybe they, I feel that they look best on me, but I also, like, I have so many people who look at me and be like, hot damn, that looks so nice on you. And I'm like, it's like a very traditional, like, modest-looking dress that isn't just, like, a sack of potatoes. I also find that, like, I would say I'm more of an old soul because, like, I don't immediately go to, like, the modern age thing, which is to have somebody else do it for me. Yeah. I'm very much like, I would love to just have, like, a small farm. And, like, just, that just sounds like fun. Oh, my God. My husband, if I win the lottery, he's getting a tiny hobby farm with animals and a tractor. And he will be the happiest person on the face of the planet. And that man could grow anything. Me, on the other hand, it's like I walk by and I'm the opposite of poison ivy. I just fucking kill it as soon as I walk by. Uh, rainy days or stormy nights? Okay. So, because of where I live, it depends on if there is lightning involved and lightning strikes that may start fires. Just going to put that out there. I love stormy nights because I will have the best sleep of my entire life when it is windy as fuck outside or when it's stormy. And I also love dancing in the rain. 
Also, I grew up in an area where it rained a majority of the time, like the temperature of the rain changed throughout the year. And that was about it. So I do like both, but I feel like Stormy is just a little bit more interesting, but I would just like to ex nay the lightning part because I like when people don't have to lose their homes. Just say. Yeah. I love a stormy night because I love to just like, I built this like patio couch outside and I just like to watch rain. And like, I also will sit out in the rain and it's like very calming to me. And I get really bad allergic reactions to a lot of things. And I have found that if I sit out in the rain and the rain hits my face, I don't get like, it helps it. Again, this probably sounds very hokey tokey, but like, it's the only way that I can find, like, I could literally look at water the wrong way when I have a really direction. It's like, flare up. Go. Yeah. Um, would you rather be the writer or the reader? The writer. I like writing stuff. In general, like, I'll just sit down and, like, write random things down, whether it's, like, a poem or whatever. And, yeah, because sometimes there's books that I just, like, cannot get through. I find it, I think, too, that's why, like, when I... I took a creative writing class in high school and I'll read a book and I'm like, I just feel like more people would have appreciated if this happened. Um, Polaroids or postcards? So the last time I got a postcard, oop, I hit the headphones. Did I fuck anything up? Oh, the last time I got a postcard. The buttons are on the side. They're amazing. Oh, nice. The last time um, I got a postcard was actually from our uncles. So when I was a kid, I would get like super fascinated with things. <laughs> That wasn't a sign. That wasn't a sign at all. But um, I was obsessed with Chicago, the Windy City. Chicago. And our uncle went to a conference there and he sent me a postcard from Chicago that had a picture of Chicago on it. And I was obsessed with it. And that was like the last time that I really got like a regular postcard. And they're they're super fun to get. I love a Polaroid. Call me millennial coded or whatever, but... I love like a little like Polaroid moment where you're sticking it in like a book or you have a bunch of them and you have like the string of twinkle lights. Like I love that shit. I love it so much that like our mom bought me um, a one of the things where you can like hook up your phone and you print things out on Polaroid. And honestly, when it comes to like little projects that my kid does, like an all about me poster, I could print that off or there's like little things like that. And it's super fun. And I don't know. I like the artsy aspect of a Polaroid. Postcards are super fun. Um, stamps are expensive as fuck. And I don't really have someone to send a postcard to. Like, I could probably send them to, like, people that I know. But, like, how often do you really get mail? Yeah. Um, I do enjoy the Polaroid. But, again, I'm also, like, it's something that's, like, so expensive, too. Yeah. That you're kind of like... Um... Would you rather be the artist or the muse? Oh. Uh, well, I'm really good at abstract art. <laughs> Meaning, um, just kind of like going with the flow, not painting something very specific. I mean, if I probably sat down and focused, I could probably figure it out. Also, I don't know if I'd want to be the muse. Like, that just feels like awkward. I think it's more just like if you inspire, like, I feel like when you hear the muse it sounds very like sexual it's more like if you inspire somebody to create something versus like you are the eye of the muse like they wouldn't paint you but like if you like i don't want to be something and i was like oh my god that inspired me to paint this then that you would be the muse because you set it up yeah um would you rather go stargazing or have morning walks did you answer the last question I thought it was obvious. They heard us. Oh, okay. I hate paying attention. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Um, and when in doubt, I like to do random things. With okay, can you repeat the question? Sorry. Stargazing or morning walk? Um, I do like both. I'm I'm a lot more. It, it's high, more high, <sighs> more likely. Yeah, I was gonna say more highly likely. I'm like, I don't think that's a thing. That I would do stargazing. Like, man, I stayed up the next night to try to see the Aurora Borealis. And um, they said it was going to happen again in our area. And it's very dark in my area. There's not a bunch of, like, lights or anything. And I didn't see it. And I was so sad. And I stayed up so late. And then, um, like, when there's those things, like, if there's like, going to be, like, a meteor shower or something, like, I will get, if I feel motivated, I will stay the fuck up to watch stuff like that. I love space. 
I do really enjoy a morning walk. Like when it's like brisk. Yeah. I like when it's like, it's still like cold. Like we'll do that when it gets to like fall, early winter on those like Saturdays. Like sometimes we'll do that. We'll go grocery shopping and then do that or do one of those and then go grocery shopping. And that that's like fun. And you have like a scooter or whatever. Sometimes my kid will have that to like keep up with us. Um, stargazing, I find, is a little bit harder in the summer because the bugs like to be my friends. Oh, I got one of those thermocell bug things, which uh, God knows is probably some toxic gas that comes out that probably isn't the best, but it works. Oh. I also use those little citronella bracelets from the dollar store. Lemonade or iced tea? Oh, that's fucking hard. I would go, like, if you gave me any type of lemonade, except for mango, um... I am usually lemonade. I do like iced tea, but I also find that, like, I would just go, like, Arnold Palmer. Like, I like a lemon iced tea, which is basically, like, lemonade. You know what? I'd probably go iced tea because, like, when I sit and think about it, I'm not, like, a pop drinker, Mm -hmm. but I'll always default and get iced tea. And lemonade's not, like, readily available. I'm not a fan of the brisk lemonade either. So... Oh, my God. It's so... It's not even lemonade. It is just syrup. I just mix it with It's so, like, it reminds me of that episode of The Simpsons where, like, Bart and Millhouse get, like, all that money. And they're like, I want, uh, what is it called? A squishy? Just completely made out of syrup. That's all I think of when I have, like, any of those, like, brisk versions of things. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'd probably say iced tea. Because even, like, growing up, like, our mom would make iced tea in the jug. Whether it was, like, natural iced tea or, like, some fucking good old hostess iced tea. I love that shit. Uh, about I think it was three years ago. I figured out how to make um like southern sweet tea. Yeah, for our mom because she loves sweet tea. Well, she loves unsweetened sweet tea. Yeah. So to the, to the south. I'm sorry. I'm not the best at making it. I don't have specific ones, but I'll make her like a jug and she'll just sit and drink it and loves it. Um, ocean waves or rain sounds. Oh, rain sounds. I mean, if I can't fall asleep, the first thing you do is Alexa. Play, please play rain on tin roof i'm the same i like a good i like kind of like both i feel like ocean sounds kind of make me feel like i need to pee oh always um planners or bullet journals um both i will like use to the same extent which is about two weeks max a month and then i'll completely forget about them um more bullet journal than planner but i also I like the structure of a planner, but I like the creativeness of a bullet journal. Yeah. Um, would you rather have fresh fruit or fresh flowers? Oh, fresh fruit. Fresh flowers die. Fruit is delicious. Uh, red roses or pink roses? Neither. I want gerber daisies. <laughs> gerber daisies. Um, I like also just like those daisies that are like dyed random colors. I like super colorful flowers. I like hydrangeas. I like, oh, I'd love me a hydrangea. I like, like, the Costco bouquets that have, like, different flowers that look yeah. kind of, like, natural. Um, I'm looking for another one. Hobbies! Hobby, hobby, hobbies. We did a hobby thing already. Did what about, um, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Harry Potter. Yeah. Easy. Why, why in Lord of the Rings do they walk, like, for three fucking movies? It's just walking. Um, and they eat a lot of food, which I i mean, respectfully, every day I'll be like, I'm having second breakfast. I, I feel like Harry Potter I could relate more to, which I understand wizards are not real. But, like, I just like the characters. The characters and like, I don't know, the more, like, unique storyline and there's so much character for development for more than just, like, one character. Also, there was, like, a character for kind of every type of person. Yeah. Um, good eater or good sleeper? I realize this is motherhood. One second. Dude, I suck at bowls. Half the time I don't remember to eat. And then sometimes I'm really good at sleeping and other times my body's like, no, we will not sleep today. Uh, would you rather have no internet or have no phone? I don't care about any of that stuff. I'd say probably have no phone. I mean, like, a majority of the stuff connects to the internet anyways. I know. So I'm like, no. Yeah. Um. Agent 
the uh spotify or apple music apple music apple music if i need it like if i'm going on a road trip spotify if i want a good pay- playlist and my husband even said that the other day he's like you know what i love apple music but the spotify playlists are just different sarah and then he was like can we get spotify too I'm like, no we fucking cannot i am only paying for one fucking music okay, and i told you that like i just have to upgrade it because i have the duo plan and i would just have to get the family plan yeah but how much more is it i think like four dollars a month I know, but I just upgraded my Apple. Everyone can laugh at me. Now I upgraded my Apple One membership because I started getting that notification that my cloud was full. And I'm like, I am not in the mind capacity in the summer to waste time sitting and deleting stuff. So I upgraded it and the utter excitement on my husband's face when he found out that we have Apple News again. Oh my God. And then it had, you have been added to Fitness Plus again. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, we got Fitness Plus. I mean, the videos are actually really cute. They're, like, pretty clear and stuff like that. Some of them are a little corny, but there's one guy who's on there, and he's, like, pretty sweet. I need to see if I can hook it up to this, because, like, I do You should be able to cast it. Probably can. Yeah. Uh, screen share. Original or remix song? I would normally say original, but I'm going to give a huge shout-out to Magnolia Park, because they just redid my favorite Disney song. If you've been listening to this podcast, you know that I love a goofy movie and always have. And they, um, Disney comes up with that new one sound or whatever. It's like their new one where they're just getting people to redo it. So Simple Plant, Can You Feel the Love Tonight, which I thought was pretty dope. And I was like, oh, this is good. And like, they're releasing ones, I think, every like Friday. So there's a new one tomorrow. Magnolia Park last week released the Eye to Eye from a Goofy movie. My emo millennial soul has never felt so full than to hear that song. They did such an amazing job. They kept, like, the original background and everything, which was great. But it's, like, a little bit more sped up than the original. And it's just, like, you can't not dance when you hear that song. Like, it's so good. I would say remix because I'm usually the type of person who loves when people release a song and then there's an acoustic version. Yes, I am that person that, like, listens to that one instead. Um... So I'd usually say I like original initially, but I do love a good remix. Also, like, I really love, like, EDM music and and some, like, trap music. So, like, a lot of that is just, like, remix songs and stuff. Um, Headphones or speakers? Depends on the mood. If uh, I feel like focus mode is more like headphones. So, like, I also like courtesy. So if I'm doing a bunch of stuff, but I know what's going to bother say like our brother and I really want to have music or um everybody's sleeping in my house and I want to listen to a podcast sometimes I'll put it on Alexa especially if I know if everybody's like half asleep but a majority of the time I'll default to headphones but if I want to like rock out to music or whatever and my husband is a thousand percent the speaker person this man anytime he can get a fucking bluetooth speaker for free he gets the bluetooth speaker for free and he has them everywhere in all different sizes it's yeah I so I love a good headphone. I'm don't mind speakers. My biggest frustration with speakers is when they're so loud that like I'm literally trying to talk to the person beside me and they're so loud that like you can't hear them. Yeah. <clears throat> That's just the hard of hearing. Oh no, my worst is the um on I find it happens more often than not on speakers and I think it depends on the balance of the song. But the ting. Yes. <laughs> and it's like it's not because it's near a wall or anything like that. It's like there's just like a it's it just has this like extra like tinny noise and sometimes i'm like i can't handle the song we need to change it my husband laughs and just changes it because i also find too that like the connection thing with speakers like i can have bluetooth headphones and i don't find that there's that much of an issue versus like um bluetooth speakers random side note but definitely related nothing invokes more rage in my soul than when my phone randomly connects to a different fucking speaker and starts doing something yeah like I have a rule where in our vehicles my phone is not allowed to be connected because I'm a hoe for using a voice memo or for using um like dictation mm-hmm. when I'm doing a message and replying to somebody because I'm usually doing 500 other things at the same time and if my phone connects and I can't do what I need to do right away or it randomly like connects to like I was watching TikToks my husband had our Bose speaker outside and it randomly connected to it, which I haven't connected to that speaker in forever. And then I'm like, why isn't there any sound? 
And then outside, it's playing the music, but then has the TikTok noise in the background. He's like, what the fuck's going on with this song? And it just annoys me. I also find, like, I will have a specific pair of headphones for a specific device. Yeah. I know that probably sounds like overconsumption, but especially for, like, the podcast now, like, the headphones that I just bought are going to be solely for the one, so for, for, like, my laptop. Yeah. My AirPods are for my phone. The green ones are for my desktop. Yeah. And, like, or, like, my AirPods will be for, like, my mobile devices. Yeah. It irks me so much when, like, it just clicks back and forth. It's or, really nuts. And, like, it wasn't even, like, Sarah didn't even do anything. It was literally, like, I was letting her borrow my headphones because uh, her one headphone went missing after the car accident. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. And so, like, I'm watching this thing. I have my headphones and I go to it and it's kind of so fun. I'm like, wide and then it's like just those little things that piss me off oh yeah um but yeah those are kind of the main ones i thought we could just redo this or that because i know we had other ones that we were talking about there was like different choices of like food and more movie things or franchises and stuff like that there was like some other ones that we have so maybe we'll do that one again i mean i threw in the lord of the rings and harry potter one like respectfully i know that people are completely obsessed with both um I am just, I just, I've tried. I've read the books. I've tried to watch the movies in 15 minutes and I just pass out, so. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm I'm excited because it's like, today's August 1st. Yeah, so like, which means that it's almost fall. It means it's almost fall and that means that the Autumn Collection will be launching soon for Overwhelmed, the label. And on, com. make sure to follow though because there's a bunch of different things that we're working on. Yes. <clears throat> and... There might be things launching weekly, mm-hmm. maybe, or monthly, or all of those things. If you're unaware, I hate summer, and I get very unmotivated in the summer. I say that I have seasonal affective disorder in the summer. So if you've gone overwhelmed and you're like, wow, Eve, what's been happening? Nothing. Nothing. Sad. Thank you. <laughs> um, but please follow, like, share. Um, if you, if you have any input on like any topics to talk about we're always open to them i found that usually this time is like probably in a week or so my brain will wake up and i'll be a new person this oh this is usually when uh as soon as august hits i'm like what am i gonna be for halloween i know so maybe we'll i'm not a halloween person i'm more of an autumn person so i was a percent halloween i i could like i enjoy like i'll watch horror movies but i'm not like super committed to them and like the whole like Halloween thing, I think, is like I just it's for the person. I'm a spooky. I am in the spooky. Um, I'm apparently naturally quite silent and scare people. So you're like a ninja. I don't even mean. I do. I don't even know when I'm walking quietly, and then you're like, oh my god, you scared the living Christ out of me. And I'm like, excuse me. Um, but yeah, please follow, like, and share. We're on all major social media platforms. We're on all the things. We're on all the platforms. You can listen. You can watch. Um, we don't do video of us doing this though. But um, yeah, give a give a gander, give a subscribe, give a review, give a star, and stay as warped and twisted as ever. Peace.